ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯನಂದಸಹೋದಿ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತುರ್ವಶಕಿ ಪಾಸಿಂದು ವಿವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವುನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈತು ಸಿದ್ಧಿ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರುಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದರು ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟದೋಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಿರಿಂಚನು ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪನುತಪಾಲ್ ಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರುನಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಲ್ಲವನಖ ಛಂದಮನಿಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರ್ಜೀತ ಕಮಿ ಗೋಪವಧೂಷು ಆದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಂ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾ ಬದಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರೌ ಕಮಲಾಹ್ಯತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರು ದ್ವಿಜವರು ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೇ ತವ ಪಾಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿ ತ್ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣೋ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ಬಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವ ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಶ್ಚ ಭಕ್ಷಿ ಯಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀ ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಸದಯ ಹೃದಯ ಜಶೋ ವಾಚ ಶೂಷಿ ಕಾಯ ಪರಹಿ ಯಶೋ ಕಲಿತಶೋಕರೋತಿ ಕಿ ಸದಯ ಹೃದಯ ಯಶೋ 
सदयम हृदय जस्ु वाच सत्यभूषित काय पर जस्ु कलित करोति कि गौड़ीय गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील वक्ति सिद्धांत तो सरस्वती गोस्वामी रघु बहुपाद परमंश जगदगुरु टोल अ फ्लैटरिंग पर्सनैलिटी कैन नेवर बिकम ए प्रीचिंग पर्सनैलिटी गौड़ीय गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंश जगदगुरु टोल अ फ्लैटरिंग पर्सनैलिटी कैन नेवर बिकम ए प्रीचिंग पर्सनैलिटी बिकॉज फ्लैटरिंग पर्सनैलिटी मीन ही इज गोइंग टू डिमैंड सम लाभ पूजा प्रतिष्ठा फ्लैटरिंग पर्सनैलिटी मीन Surely he is going to demand some lap puja pratishtha. That's why he is flattering personality. Otherwise, for pure Vishnu, Shuddha Vishnu, they cannot become a flattering personality. They can speak something for your absolute good. They are not going to speak something which can give you some entertainment at present. Give some facility at present, but in future, big problem will be there. Because Vaishnavas, they are ocean of mercy. Vaishnavas, they are ocean of endless mercy. Mercy doesn't mean that I can give you some material facility, nothing. Popat speaking. that most of the people they are busy with the skin popa popa shedding tears and speaking popa repenting that most of the people they are only busy with the skin they understand the facility of the skin and flesh and blood they are less interested to understand what is absolute benefit what is the absolute benefit? they are less interested they don't like to hear they like to they like to subscribe to those organization those who are rendering doing some material seva like material treatment education medicine so many things there they understand this food for life this they understand they don't understand anything which is related to their actual interest absolute interest of their self you know real self their less interest is very typical very typical i like to tear my hair sometime popad used to say to save a bonded soul sometime popad used to say to deliver a bonded soul from maya so typical job almost next to impossible next to impossible to deliver a bonded soul so hard even it is more far better to make thousands of lakhs of hospital lakhs of educational institution everything very easy but to deliver a bonded soul is too easy they are not ready though they are going to take tilak mala everything doing japa everything but from heart they don't want bhagwan or at all they want bhagwan mixing with maya at all they want some of them can say mara i need i want bhagwan but still he cannot say absolutely he cannot say that i want bhagwan absolutely his demand is there maybe demand is there he like to get but mixing with maya like in the tea if you are going to mix some sugar cube and it become tasty follow like in the tea if you going to add one you know sugar cube is very good tasty they like to mix maya and after that they are going to pray to bhagwan they are preaching they are you know arranging temple everything 
but mixing with my. <coughs> but Pope was speaking, Bhagavan cannot come to you. Bhagavan can never come mixing with Maya. Bhagavan cannot come to you mixing with Maya. Bhagavan is absolute. Bhagavan is absolute. How you can expect contamination of Maya in, and with your conception, mind, everything, you can get Bhagavan? You have to go up to that level, na? absolute level. Na? So the slok I started with is very important slok. Shadayam Hidayam Jasho. Whose heart is always favorable for bonded soul. Fallen soul, come, come, come. Guru, Guru Padma used to say, Guru Padma used to say, my son, Gaur Nityananda extending hand, come to me, come to me. Guru Padma used to say, Gaur Nityananda this way, come to me, come to me. Bonded soul don't like to go. They like to go just opposite direction, Maya. Guru Padma used to go. Gaur Nityananda calling bonded soul, come to me, come to me. They like to go there. Because very testy, no? They have no taste about the transcendental world or anything pertaining to that transcendental world. They have no idea. If somehow they can get the taste of that bhajan, hari bhajan, that nectar, never they can leave. Nectar. That's why Prabhupada used to say, those who are going to mind it, what the very important word. Prabhupada used to say, those who are going to get the apps, get, get the interest and a taste of that absolute bhajan, a little bit. Those who are going to get the taste of absolute bhajan, a little bit. Still they cannot, they don't like to jump into Maya. But main point is that, we are not getting the test. We are not getting test. <clears throat> this way, all pitching system, all dikha system has all has taken a turn in such a way. It is beyond our explanation. Beyond our explanation, it's impossible. Sadayam hidayam jasho whose heart is always melting for bonded soul. Come, come to me. Like Prabhupada shouting. Prabhupada shouting in Radha Kundu. Don't go there. Come to me. Don't go there. Don't go there. The Saujiya. Don't go. Come to me. You can get finished forever. Your life. Come to me. I know. You cannot bear my speech. But still you will have to come to me. Come, come, don't go there. Papa calling, shouting, don't go there, come here. But people like to go there. They like to go there. There is a condition. So Sadayam Hidayam Jasso Bachaha Satta Bhushitam. Who never feel fear to speak about the absolute truth. Who is always speaking about absolute truth. Don't fear. The whole world can go against me, Maharaj. They cannot, you know, they can go against me. So what? Popa speaking, let the whole world go against me. Let the whole world go against me. Still, I cannot stop speaking about that absolute truth, absolute way, standing on absolute platform. I mean, under the standing, under the umbrella-like lotus feet of my Guru Padma, I can go on speaking same absolute truth. Though I know, though I know, most of the people can reject me. Though I know, most of the people can reject me. They can go that way. But still I can go on. I cannot change. That is called sadhu. Absolute. That is called pure sadhu. So, sadayam hidayam jasso. Bachaha Jasho Shatta who is always speaking about absolute truth. And his body is always in the service of Bhagavan. Whose body is always in the service of all bonded soul because he is going to find the whole world in relation to Bhagavan. 
bonded soul crying, hey, come, come, it is also Seva of Bhagavan. It is also Seva of Because Bhagavan giving instruction to Uddhavji Maharaj, Bhagavan giving instruction to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, giving to Rupa Sanat and everybody to speak about me, so that you can save bonded soul. So it is a Seva. If I can save even one bonded soul, it is my Bhagavan Seva. I am not expecting any pranami, anything from anybody. I want to seek their absolute benefit. So, sadayam hidayam jasho, vachaha satta bhushitam, kayaha parahitam jasho, whose body is dedicated for Bhagavad Seva, for the benefit of whole world. What Koli can do? Koli can do what, what problem Koli can create? What problem Koli can create? You have seen? Pure devotees, all people, they strike to, they try to make some problem so that they cannot speak Harikatha. They like to, they like to break their effort. Absolute preaching. They like to break their effort so that they cannot do and people can believe me, we can preach. But still, previous year, this time, what problem happened, you know? Whole group against unnecessarily. Unnecessarily. They like to engage Gunda, this, that, so crazy. But still they could not could not stop my harikatha. Because I believe they cannot stand for long time. They can create some problem. Kalihi Tasho Karotu Kim. What Koli? What problem Koli can create? Koli is flip. Koli is failure. Koli is just failure in front of pure devotees. Koli can go some other places in other society to make the internal problem, fighting. But Koli cannot come in front of pure devotees. Koli cannot come. So, a flattering personality can never become a preaching person. It's right. 100% right. Because flattering personality means you, when you want to seek you want to seek some, some, you know, interest of public people, pub, general people. You are not ready to seek the interest, absolute interest of their real self. So, it's a big problem. So, flattering personality means he is doing Jeev Hingsa. You can remember, long ago, I was explaining about Jeev Hingsa, what is called Jeev Hingsa under the guidance of Prabhupada. You can remember Jeev Hingsa. Jeev Hingsa doesn't mean only physical assault. Jeev Hingsa doesn't mean Jeev Hingsa doesn't mean only physical assault. Actual meaning of Jeev Hingsa is to misguide Jivatma. Because Jiva is not body. Jiva is not body. This body is not Jiva. It's skin. It's skin and blood and flesh. It is not Jiva. Jiva is Jivatma. Resting inside her. Jivatma. So, Jiv Hingsa, in true sense, in true sense, if you like to derive in true sense, if you like to derive, derive the actual meaning of this Jivingsa, means to misguide people. Mis, mis, misguide. Go, go, go. Come to me. I can speak you rasa tata, everything nice. Misguiding people. This is called Jivingsa. Jivingsa is very dangerous. If somebody running for Jivingsa, he cannot get any excuse. Big problem can be there. I was speaking yesterday about mispreaching everything. I was speaking yesterday. I was speaking that massive preaching, this word is a fake term. Massive preaching is a fake term. 
massive preaching only applicable for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu who wanted to transfer power and multiple way. Massive preaching is a, in generally this term is not applicable. Because Popa speaking, because Popa speaking that canvassing of Harinam, Harikatha, canvassing. Canvassing or no? You don't know? Canvasser. Those who are you know, canvassing, you know, going to speak in front of public in the roadside, standing in a platform. And this car is very good model, you can buy, you can get discount, you know, so many things. Follow. Harinam you can do, Harinam you buy, Harinam you can get so much thing. It's called canvassing. I am not speaking. I am not making any Siddhanta. All Siddhanta, Prabhupada, Bhakti, Thakun, Guru, Bhakti. So, canvassing of Harinam, Harikatha and actual preaching, not the same. Canvassing of Harinam, Harikatha, in general, in, in, in front of, you know, ma ma mass population, it cannot be called actually preaching. Because many times I told, if I am going to preach in front of you, Try to follow Siddhanta. If, if I am successful to preach in front of him, sure all Siddhanta which are I can inculcate inside his heart. He cannot make any mistake. He can feel inspiration to do Hari Bhajan. Day by day he can feel some enthusiastic mood to do Hari Bhajan. Very enjoyment, nice. That means preaching. So, Prabhupada was successful in his preaching, but Prabhupada never told I was successful in massive preaching. On the contrary, at the time of his living body, his, he started crying and speaking. He started crying and speaking. What I can do by staying here anymore? What I can do by staying here anymore? Nobody likes to accept my Siddhanta Vichara. Nobody likes to follow me anymore from heart. So if Pope was speaking this way, before living body, nobody likes to accept this Siddhanta. Absolute truth. They like to run opposite. But what I can do by staying? So you realize. Just Yesterday I told Gokarnaji's preaching was successful in front of Dundukari because he was the only candidate who could grasp, who could digest all Siddhanta Bhicha. I mean, who had his genuine demand. All other people hear it. All other people can hear it. So what? They can accept, they cannot accept. So, regarding preaching, regarding Diksha Mantra, so many rules are negotiation. It will take a big discussion, big discussion. Actual preaching mean, actual Diksha mean, you can develop Dibbo Gyan. If somebody coming in front of me, not developing Dibbo Gyan after hearing so many Harikatha, I think he is not in a position to accept me. Siddhanta Vishar. Not possible. So, by hearing Harikatha, by taking Diksha, if I am not going to develop Dibbo Gyan, what to speak about Dibbo Gyan? Even common sense not developing. How I can say he is a big Acharya, a big you know, preacher? Common sense not there. Yes, their activities, their speech, their writing, all can, you know, wow in front of, in, in favor of my Siddhanta. Really so. So, Prabhupada used to say, Diksha means to attain Dibba Gyan. Prezudo Diksha. Prezudo Diksha and original Diksha, genuine Diksha, not the same. 
Prabhupada used to say. Genuine diksha and pseudo diksha, so called diksha, not same. Those who are not going to get actual diksha, they cannot make any progress in their bhajan. Maximum they can get some shukriti. Shukriti. Papa speaking, they cannot get any right to enter into temple. Papa speaking, they cannot get any right to enter into temple to touch salagram to worship Radha Govindu or Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Only they can get some sukriti. Or next life, if they are not going to make any aparad, they can, next life, they can accumulate sukriti eh? and get cumul cumulative interest. You know, in bank, cumulative interest. In bank, you can get cumulative interest. Mean the amount you are fixing in bank, after one year you are getting this, after that amount also you are going to draw in bank, again you are getting some interest over that amount, again it can get double, on that you can get. So it is called cumulative, cumulative interest. The Sukriti can guide you, okay? But Sukriti also two types of Sukriti. One is Bhajanamukhi Sukriti, one is one is Bhaganmukhi Sukriti. Bhaganmukhi Sukriti cannot help you. Bhaganmukhi Sukriti can push you down. Because you are doing Harinam, you are hearing Harikatha, but inside your heart there is a different kind of Annavilas. You want to get something, where so many things, contamination. You are doing Guru Shava, but you have some Annavilas with some desire. Our love puja puja, you are doing Guru Seva. In that case, you cannot get actual Sukriti, Bhagavan Mukhi Sukriti. So many people, many so-called devotees, they are serving and ultimately they are increasing their amount of money, position, everything. This is called cars. This is called cars. They think it is benefit for me. But they don't know it is the arrangement of Maya Devi. They don't know it is the arrangement of Maya Devi, it is cars. They can, it is get big punishment for them. Because Bhagavan speaking, in 11th canto, uh, no, uh, 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 no, no, actually, uh, 11th, 11th canto also there also, also and uh, Bali Maharaj topics, Bali Maharaj topics, when Jagga going on, Bamandev appear, putting the hand of Bali Maharaj, Bali Maharaj going to appear, everything finished, then Bhagavan going to speak the absolute truth. Bhagavan speaking, don't forget. Bhagavan speaking, Jam Anugrinami Aham, whom I'm, whom I going to best to actual keeper. I am going to snatch away, I am going to take away all their opulence and everything because that opulence is the cause of their vanity. I pray to Bhagavan, make me beggar, street beggar. Even Bhagavan can take all my clothes. I pray to Bhagavan. Same Siddhanta Bhakti Vita Madhu Goswami I told. I have no time to discuss. Some rich man going to speak to Madhu Goswami Maharaj. Maharaj, I have, I can invest some money. You can open one you know, brick making factory. And I can sell brick and give you the profit you can make. And you can make money, very nice. Madhu Goswami Maharaj speaking. Madhu Goswami Maharaj speaking. In your society, this is the formula. You like, to, you like to make a poor man rich. But our procedure is just opposite. We like to make one rich man a mendicant. <laughs> Madhu Kusi was speaking. <laughs> we like to make them beggar, mendicant. So you are, your formula is not applicable in front of me. But now, the just opposite. Just opposite going on. Every society. There is a condition. 
So, Bhagavan speaking, Jam Anugrinami Aham, Tad Visho Vidunomi Aham. I like to clean his heart by snatching out all his appliances, all his, you know, pratishta, everything I can, so that he can feel, I have nothing, uh, niskinchan, pap, like the case of Tidandi Vikshuk, like the case of Tidandi Vikshuk, Tidandi, in, in, you know, you can find in Bhagavatam. He was a very rich man, big businessman, Brahman. Finally, by the desire of Bhagavan, is all property gone. All property gone. King going to take away some, and all dockoids and, uh, you know, they are coming to take away everything, and even female family members, wife and each you know, of son, daughter, they like to kick away father. Kick away father. He was helpless. He was helpless and started thinking, what wrong I have done? Then suddenly he developed Dibba Gyan, one very nice knowledge by the mercy of Chaitya Guru. Chaitya Guru sitting inside. Chaitya Guru sitting. Follow. Then that Tidandi Shan, that then, then that Brahman, I mean that beggar, now started speaking. speaking. Today I realize Bhagavan is 100% 100% happy with me. So he is going to arrange my this kind of position. That Tidandi Shana speaking. Tidandi Shana himself speaking. Today, Bhagavan is very satisfied with me. So, going to arrange my this kind of situation so that I can get realization power, I can get Dibba Gyan. So, today onward, I am going to take Tirandi Sanyas and live like a beggar. I can submit all, everything for Bhagavan. Jeno eno dasanitam nunam bhagavan harihi santushta nunam mananishita meva surely nunam bhagavan hari nunam bhagavan hari is satisfied with me nunam bhagavan hari santushta jeno eno dasanitam that's why I, I reach this kind of Position, because so long you are going to depend upon your bank money deposit, you cannot show 100% submission. So long as you are going to depend upon your money power, manpower, educational power, any power, you cannot depend upon Bhagavan 100%. When you are going to leave everything, you are helpless, then you can... Catch the lotus feet of Bhagavan and Gurudev. Gurudev, you save me. I am helpless. Not before that. Not, not a matter of joke. That's why submission is very typical. Guru Padma used to say, Guru Padma used to say to me, My son, what is this? I say, Maharaj, it is your, it is your sannyas danda. Yes. That sannyas danda is kept here. How long? And so long you are going to keep him, keep that danda that way. So danda cannot change pose. But when I am going to keep the danda in, a, in the ground, this way, danda can stay. So you understand that is called saranagati, that is called submission. Also Guru Patman used to teach me separately, alone. My son, if you are going to buy some animal from market, suppose you are going to buy some animal from market, dog, any, any cow or in a buffalo, whatever you need, horse. If you are going to buy that horse or buffalo or cow, then that cow or buffalo bound to obey your, 
obey your rules and rules. Because if you are going to give them grass, they can take. If you are not giving, huh? not going to give water, you are going to tie them in sunlight, scorch it. Nothing to do. Like the case of South Africa, there was, not in Africa, there was, and also in Greek, different places, there was a system of buying a man like a slavery system. Apartheid system was in Africa, apartheid system. But slavery system was effective in Greek, Roman, there, all. All black men, those who are poor, people used to buy them and use them like dog and animal. You don't know how painful situation. Hello. Guru Padmani used to say, give this example. Guru Padmani used to give this example from Bhagavatam. Vikrito Pashor Yatha. It is written in Bhagavatam. Vikrito Pashor Yatha. One Pashu animal, if sold in market, going to obey the master, going to buy. Guru Padmani used to give this. So, if you can show your submission this way, if you have no smell of self-interest, then you can become a preacher. Foolish people all over the whole world, what conception they have about Tinadapi? I am asking you. I am asking you. What kind of conception going on in the whole world about Tinadapi? They think, Maharaj, that Maharaj, Acharya is speaking very sweet, very softly, Maharaj is giving so many facility, everything, soft. They think it is Tinadapi. But they don't know it is not Tinadapi. Tinadapi means, actual meaning of Tinadapi, if possible, you can preach everywhere. Give this version of Prabhupada. Genuine Tinadapi, actual Tinadapi means, Devoid of La Puja Patishtha. But people are not going to accept this. People are misled. How long I can bark like a dog? How long? They are not going to accept me. Though I can speak about the Prabhupada and his Siddhanta Vichar, but still they cannot accept. Because their luck is very bad. So, actual meaning of Tinadva means, Prabhupada told, if you are totally devoid of La Puja Patishtha, no desire, no smell, even smell is not allowed. Smell. Oh, no desire, Mara, some smell, no. Smell is not allowed. Smell is not allowed. In that case, you can go for preaching of Chaitanya Vani. Otherwise, you can start your you can start your preaching with some humble mood in the beginning. Later, when when Pratishta is going to contribute you, then you can kick on the head of Guru Vishnu. This is your condition. How many examples you need? I can show you. All foreign. They started in the beginning is okay. Beginning it was okay. But after that. When they start, oh, so Patishta coming, I am the big boss, best and gone. Like the case I told them morning time, like demigods, demigods, <coughs> demigods, they get victory, they, they got victory over demons. Ah, oh, they are pepped up, oh, we are enjoying victory. So we are so powerful. To teach them a lesson, to to teach them a lesson, Parabrahma, Paratpara, Kirishar, Bhagavan, appear in the heaven gate in peculiar form. One kind of peculiar animal, Jaksha, peculiar. Everybody interested, what is this? In the heaven gate. Then, I knew, then this news, then the news information reaching Indra, in the speaking, well, who can go to take information about that peculiar, you know, thing? So you can go. Pavandev, yeah, I can go. He's going asking, who are you? 
Eh? Who are you? And that Parab Brahma in peculiar form. I am asking, who are you? Here yeah, they are asking, who are you? And Parabhama asking, actually, who are you? First, I like to know. I am Pabandev. You don't know? No, I don't know why. Pabandev, very powerful. I can take away and uh, destroy whole world by strong wind. Strong. Really so? Ha! Huh? My power is familiar to everybody. So? So, I can give you, please, you know, Never mind, I can give you one straw. I can, I can give you one straw, put one straw. You just try to blow, try to throw away. That straw only, a piece of straw. And Pavandev, ha <laughs> ha, laughing. Pavandev going to apply his full force, but still is unable to even displace that straw piece. You must wonder how possible. How possible? Then going to inform Indra. Strange. I went there to apply my whole force to but that one piece of straw was there. I was failure. you. Really? Then whom to send? Uh, Barundev, you are very powerful. So you can go? Yes, I can go. He is going to ask. And going to hey, well, who are you? I am asking, please, who are you? Well, my name is you know, Barundev. Barundev? Who is Barundev? Barundev is very powerful. Goddess of water can destroy whole world. So you can apply your whole force, please, you know, and show me how to displace this, you know. Try to displace this straw piece. Failure. Everybody failure. When Indra himself coming, oh, everybody useless. Let me go myself is coming in front of that Bara Parabrahma. That that Parabrahma that time disappeared. When Indra himself coming, when Indra comes in to know the identity of that peculiar thing, Brahma, then Brahma disappeared. Brahma, where gone? Where gone? Just it was there. Then in the heaven, in the space, Bhagavati Ma, Bhagavati Devi, Uma, Uma, you know? Uma, Bhagavati, appear. <coughs> Bhagavati laughing and speaking, Indra, Parabrahma, he was Parabrahma. Huh? Parabrahma, yes. Parabrahma came here to, to break all your false ego, to destroy all your false ego because you have your misconception that on the strength of your, you know, financial power or manpower, you are successful to get victory over those demons. Actually, that is Parabrahma who wanted to help you. That's why you are getting Really so? Yes. That was Parabrahma. To destroy, to destroy all your false ego, he came here. That Bhagavan wanted to give you victory. So if one preacher is going to speak, I am successful, all Guru Bhargava, they are useless, idiot, rascal, they are not even human beings, how I can accept? How I can expect? Ex how I can accept it? This Siddhanta. This wrong Siddhanta, no? You should think, I should think, I am speaking Harikatha by the power of Gurudev and Prabhupada Bhakti Minutam. I never think I am speaking Harikatha. The day I can think I am speaking Harikatha, Maya Devi can kick me out and make me a street dog. I cannot speak. One word cannot come in. Gurudev sitting inside, Prabhupada sitting. Then I can speak something. Siddhanta, not that. So, so you see, this massive preaching, this word is not Perfect. Because if I am failure, if I am failure to, you know, give Dibba Gyan, if I am failure to develop Dibba Gyan inside your heart, how I can say? How many disciples you are successful to make proper disciple? I don't like to count the number of monkey. I am, I am not ready to count 
the number of monkey you are going to make. Quality and quantity cannot persist together. Always you should remember. Quality and quantity can never persist together. If you want quantity, you cannot get quality. If you, get, if you are going to expect quality, you cannot get quantity. Big, big diamonds, diamond selling shop. In a day, one customer coming or not coming, no surety. One car selling shop. Some three days, four days, no money, nobody coming to buy one. Car selling shop, you know, nobody coming. And someday coming, two, two cars already sold. So, you cannot demand this way. Because Srila Banu Goswami Maharaj, Srila Goswami Maharaj, Srila Bhaktipadip Tithya Goswami Maharaj, they never wanted to go to preaching field without the order of Prabhupada. At the same time, you should not forget, they wanted to follow the procedure of Prabhupada. Because Prabhupada always used to say, if you are successful to change a very important personality, automatically the impact of your preaching can go. Follow? That was the same procedure Madhu Goswami used to invite district magistrate or, you know, follow, president of India or uh, chief minister of India, chief minister of Bengal, they used to. Not because they like to flatter, not because. But because if they are coming and joining, they can have the scope to hear about this absolute Siddhanta Vichar. Who can say? They cannot change their mood, they cannot give any guarantee, they can change. They can change. And if they are going to accept, then automatically all other. Krishna Bhagavan wanted to preach in front of Uddhavji Maharaj, one. One. Krishna. One Uddhav. And Uddhav, proper preaching, I mean, Dibbogan was. Dibbogan already they are their eternal person anyway, but this is Leela. As per the description of Uddhavji Maharaj. But point is that, alone, alone Uddhav. My point is that, alone Uddhavji Maharaj is more than sufficient than all your society. All your society, you can get together and you can compare the preaching power of Uddhavji Maharaj. Gorkhusar Babaji Maharaj wanted to make one disciple only. Who can set fire of knowledge to the whole world? That is, Gorkhusar Baba wanted to give Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. He should not speak this way. Wrong Siddhanta. Wrong Siddhanta, Maya going to grab your heart. That's why you are going to speak this way. Our Guru Varga not failure. They are successful. You never spoke in front of Queen Victoria. You never spoke in front of, you know, all in the platform of, you know, world, world over religious, you know, assembly. Never. So, don't speak this way. Don't speak this way. Oh, okay, you are doing this something. But for that, you should not express false ego. False ego can destroy your... False ego can destroy your... You can fall down. If you go up, I know, Brahma speaking to Bhagavan, Bhagavan, those who are going to... Those who are going to go up, those who are going to go up by their, by their, by their own power, Arujya Krishna Param Padam Tataha Patati Adho. Patati Adho. Those who are there, I am powerful, I can go up, I can preach. You can go up. After that, from there you can fall down. Brahma speaking to Bhagavan. Speaking Siddhanta. Arujya Krishna Param Padam Tataha Patati Adho Anadhuta Jushmat Angrayo. Bhagavan. Those who are applying their own force, try to go up and up and up about Mayavadi. You are also Mayavadi. In the form of Tilak and Acharya Sip, you are also Mayavadi. 
because you like to insult Guru Vaishnava. You are Mayavadi. I can prove in front of public. You are Mayavadi. So, Arujya Krishna Param Padam, you are going up. And from there you can fall down because you like to ignore, you like to ignore the eternal existence of the lotus feet of Bhagavan and those devotees, those who are there on the lotus feet of Bhagavan. Because in Kirtan you know, Nitair Charan Sattva Tahar Sevak Nitto. You can go through Kirtan. Nitair Sevak, Nitair Charan Sattva. The lotus feet of Nityananda is eternally present. And those Guru Varga, their place is there unto the lotus feet of Nityananda. Siddhanta speaking. Nitair Charan Sattva. Absolute truth is the lotus feet of Nityananda. Nitair Charan Sattva. Tahara Sevak Nitto and all the servant Sevak of Nityananda, their place is there unto the lotus feet of Nityananda. How you can insult them? How you can insult them? Should not speak. Should not speak this way. I am feeling pain to see your position, how much you have fallen down, so that you can pass this kind of remark. Jarabharaji Maharaj. Just yesterday I was speaking, just I forget to speak that Jarabharaji Maharaj was so kind, his heart was melting to deliver Ruhugan. Ruhugan, you know? Ruhugan? You don't know. Ruhugan. Ruhugan. In fifth category, you can find. No time to detail because main discussion is there. All related to him also. Ruhugan is Paramahansa. But that, you know, Ruhugan speaking is a servant. Hey, you come and carry my planquin. Ruhugan going to have to engage him in planquin. But one man was shortage. Four men you need, no? For planquin, you need four men. Or sometime, wow. Sometimes one danda one side, another. So one danda is very dangerous, four danda is okay. One danda okay, sometimes four, one danda, but three or four, two people and two people front. They are carrying. Plank queen. Rugan speaking is foolish number one, idiot. So I can engage him, him in my, and carrying my plank queen. I need to go. He cannot carry. Because he is not habituated, he is Paramahansa and he is speaking all rubbish to you. All rubbish. I can come. Oh, your, oh, your body is very weak. You are very slim figure because he is very stout figure. No? So he is joking. Oh, you are very slim figure. You are very uh, not healthy. So you cannot carry. Hey, try to carry properly. After that speaking, I can come down from Planquin, I can give you punishment. Foolish. You cannot carry out my order, what I say. Then Jorobara started speaking about the Absolute Siddhanta. Absolute Siddhanta. When Jorobara opened his mouth, so long, so long, Jarabharat was just like dumb and deaf. He never wanted to speak. Because if you speak, you can make some friendship with somebody, he can come to disturb you. So pure Vaishnava always like to get selection, selected personality. Or disturb and they don't ah, they're like monkey. They never want, they never invite anybody. They never. Because it's an automatic factor by the desire of Bhagavan, somebody can come to hear. So when Jarabharat's opening mouth, then Ruhugan gone mad, started crying. Who are you? Who are you? Please speak me. You are, you are, you know, Kapil Dev or somebody. I have done mistake, big mistake, Aparat. Oh, you please speak. Who are you? Yesterday I told. But you don't know this thing. You are going for preaching. Before going to preaching, you should be established in the teachings of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Or I would say, you should 
get established in Advaita Gyan Tattva. If I am going in preaching field, if I find there is one nice, beautiful lady preaching, then my preaching is not. I can discover Advaita Gyan Tattva. Advaita, no dual conception. Or at all you are going to explain, but unity in diversity, diversity in unity. That means Advaita Gyan Tattva. If I am not established in Adhyagan Tattva, I can make, oh, this nice building, that lady is very nice, beautiful lady, I can see. So a preacher is not a preacher. A preaching should be established, first of all, in Adhyagan Tattva. Finally, I can say, according to Gauriya Siddhanta, he should get established in the teachings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Naham Vishanke Sururaj Bajirat Nastar kasulatna jama shadandhat nagnar kunila sulabit tapastat shankhe visham brahma kula bhamanat. Finally, 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 Rugan crying, crying, and lecturing. You please, I am a fallen soul, I am ignorant. Please save me, please save me. Because I fear, because I fear of Vaishnava Parad. Because I fear, I fear of Vaishnava Paparaj is so dangerous. Even Sankar Bhagavan cannot get respite. It is written in Chaitanya Bhagavan. Naham Vishanke Sururaj Bajra. If Indra is going to take his Bajra, thunder, to kill me, I don't fear. Nas Tarko Shula. Tarko is the name of Sankar. If Sankar is going to take the trident to kill me, I don't fear. Naham Vishanke Sururaj Vadrat, Nastar Kashulat, Na Jamasya Dandyat. Jam, Jamraji Maharaj is going to take his club full of different nail, nail there. Jamraji Maharaj, one club full of nail. It's going to beat you, no? All blood can come. So, Ruhugan speaking, I don't fear. Also, Pallad Maharaj also speaking. I don't fear your fearful figure. Pulladma speaking. And Rugan also speaking. Rugan speaking, I don't fear. But I fear only Vaishnava Parad. I fear, very much fear. I am very fearful about committing Vaishnava Parad. But you are doing openly Vaishnava Parad. Openly. You don't, you don't care. Openly. You are going to misguide all your disciples, all the society, speaking all rubbish. Oh, they are rascal. Banu my rascal. They are not Brahman. They are actually Shudra. Banu Goswami took birth in a high family. I am speaking as a, a Shudra. Okay? Because he is going to disapprove. Because he is going to disapprove your Siddhanta Bichar. One later he wrote to Banu Mahabharata, it is not Siddhanta. I cannot accept it. Then speaking all rubbish. This is. Prabhupada already forecast before, wanted to forecast that they are going to die by infighting. Prabhupada already before living body. Jodubangsha, Jodubangsha, they can fight with each other. And no preaching they can do. No preaching, actual preaching. And Srila Bhakti Balati, I can speak something. Something, a very vital thing. Srila Bhakti Vallabh Tithu always used to say, don't try to go in foreign preaching alone. Don't go to foreign preaching alone. Go with somebody, elevated devotee. But most of the people, they like to go for preaching alone. Because if they are going to take somebody, they can know the market. They can know the market from where they can collect money, so they are not. So, this is the condition. <coughs> Nobody taking. But Tithuma repeatedly told, he himself never wanted to go to foreign country. He never, whole world thinking, Maharaj, you can come. I cannot go, I have no power to go. Finally, Sila Bhakti Pumaturi Goswami Paramahansa Maharaj, you must go to deliver them. Maharaj, I am fallen soul. How if I can fall down there? If I can fall down there, is I fear. No, no, no. You are enjoying full keeper Gurudev. 
you go. So Maharaj going. Many of his godbrother used to joke with me, joke with him. Tito Maharaj. Bhaktivala Tito. You are going to preach, you are going for foreign preaching, but you are not bringing any money. But everybody preacher, they are going to bring uh, billions of dollars. Tito Goswami Maharaj speaking, I am not going to collect money in foreign country. I like to spend my own money for them. You, you, can, you don't know his mood. You don't know his mood. If there is no sabji, sabji not there, then the Shebak speaking to Mara Mara, no sabji. How, what I can cook? Can I ask on the, don't, don't ask anybody. Take money from me and go to market and buy sabji. Don't ask anybody. Don't ask money. Whole life, he started foreign preaching and he, I was lucky to help him in different way, though I am not going to foreign government, different way. He wanted to engage me in seva, so I am very lucky. Most of the people, even his godbrothers, they misunderstood his excellent personality. They thought Maharaj is foolish. He never wanted to become guru. When Bhakti Dvaita Mahadev Goswami Maharaj wanted to write one paper in which he already wanted to select his name and Acharya. Gurudev gone. Bhakti Dvaita Mahadev Goswami Maharaj gone from this world. And the paper was kept with a lawyer. Lawyer going, coming, and in open assembly speaking, Sila Bhakti Vallabh Tithu Goswami Maharaj is the next Acharya selected by Sila Maharaj. Selected by Maharaj. Then Maharaj started crying. I cannot, I, I cannot do this seva as Acharya. How I can become, you know, Sila Bharati Maharaj, they are all Brahmin family, they are high. How I can, you can, he gone. He gone in solitary place. In Govardhan. Govardhan. Follow. In Govardhan he gone. There. And doing solitary bhajan. Not coming back. I don't like to become Acharya. I have that much power I don't have. Ah, better you can select some uh, senior god brothers there. You can make them. Follow. Finally, the father of Giridhari Panda, you don't know. Giridhari Panda, he has a nice friendship with me. We used to fight with each other. His belly was this. <laughs> I used to play with him. <laughs> he used to love me very. Hey, Sam Baba, you are doing this way. <laughs> he used to joke. <laughs> His father, now going to take, take the responsibility to bring back Tito Maharaj. <clears throat> Took responsibility. He is going there. There. It's there where Tito Maharaj is there. Doing bhajan. Follow. And speaking to Tito Goswami Maharaj. Maharaj, you can go back to temple or not? I cannot go back. They can make me Acharya. You can go temple, yes or not? If you don't go, I can fire myself. He's speaking this way. Oh my God, for me somebody, oh, let me go, let me go. Finally coming. Finally coming. And with tears rolling down his cheeks, he was bound to take the responsibility delegated by Gurudev. And at present, everybody fighting with Gurudev, I like to become Acharya. This is the condition. Everybody, everywhere, fighting going on. So you understand the purity of Tithya Goswami Maharaj. He was the masterpiece of Tattva Jnana. He was the masterpiece of Tattva Jnana. He was so merciful for all Jivatma. I have many things to speak about him, but time cannot permit. Some important thing I can speak. 
Because if I don't speak, you cannot understand. He was going to start his, you know, education, final education. I mean, actually, master degree done. I uh, like to go to some, uh, another degree is called, you know, what is called, uh, with calculation, legal, law, law. He wanted to become judge. Then by chance, he meet with Paramahansa Madhukushima. That was also a miracle. Maharaj was coming back from his, some engagement, and discover one red cloth, saffron cloth there, on that rooftop of one Grihastha, and going to stop his cycle, and asking, some sadhu coming? Some sadhu coming in your eye? Yes! So I can meet? Yeah, you can meet in the evening time. Harikata, you, I can come, surely. That was Madhu Goswami Maharaj. When he come and join Harikata place, he watched the figure of Madhu Goswami Maharaj and gone mad. By first sight, by first sight, he was bound to sell himself unto the lotus feet of Madhu Goswami Maharaj. First sight. And after that, another nice devotee, he is from Assam originally. He used to say, he used to stay with Bhakti Vita Madhu Goswami Maharaj. He is going to give him argument. Look, you are going to, you are going to take admission in <coughs> legal barristry. It's called barristry. It's called barristry education. So if you become barrister, so you will have to sit in chair, and everybody can come every day, and they can see you're going to murder my friend. Is going to say rape case. These are so many cases. You will have to hear. Is it good? Or you can stay with this big personality, Madhugusi Maharaj, and hear Harikatha and Kita. Really so? If you become magistrate, you are, you are interested to read a barrister, you know? You will have to hear every day, every time, all different kind of case. Ah, oh, he is going to kill me. He is going to take all my property, everything. So, all different kind of fighting case. In case you will have to give judgment, you know. Hang to death with right. Is it good? Or you can hear Harikatha and stay with this kind of Really, this is good. More practical. So he's going to live education. He's going to live education. Not use it. And to live education. I'm going to join Bhakti the Madhav Goswami Maharaj and started doing Kirtan and Harikatha. Oh, a flood of Kirtan. Flood of Kirtan. Titta Maharaj was a was a flood of Kirtan. He used to do. Flood of Kirtan. So nice, you know. So he finally joined. There are so many incidents. I wrote by the mercy of Guru Varga. By the mercy of Guru Varga and Guru Varga means my Shiksha Guru, Srila Bharti Maharaj, Srila Naran Maharaj, they go from they gone from this world. When they give me order to write live ones, a small treatise, small book about Tito Maharaj's glorification, I took the responsibility. That also very quickly, because fifty years completion of his sannyas. And they give me only 10 days, 12 days. Writing, editing, everything, picture of the all editing, none published. In search, in search of a real pilgrimage. The name of the book is In Search of a Real Pilgrimage. It was not translated in English. Konuak Bastop Tirthe Sandane, Bengali. Hindi, it was translated. Koi Ek Bastop Tirtho Ki Sandane, Hindi. They published. So I collected all different kind of information from Tibikam Maharaj, who was the disciple of Prabhupada. Tibikam Maharaj. From, from, Bharati, from Bharati Maharaj, Bharati Goswami Maharaj, from Naran Maharaj, and Srila Bhakti Siddhu Goswami Maharaj. I collected so many things from him also. But they are not going to give me diary. They are not going to give me diary of Maharaj, so that I can re-be good. That's what to do. They think I am not, uh, you know, 
competent, so you say, I can write. They are not giving me that. Same case with my Guru Mahārāj. They don't give me diary. They pass the diary to America. By chance, if the diary is there, I, be, I can become the writer of Guru Mahārāj, so I can earn name and fame. It's very dangerous. So I should not be given the chance to compile. This is the status at present. But still I don't speak anything. Everything happening for good. They throw me, is for good. They are doing against me, at present what is there, everything for good. I am not taking negative way. I am not taking negative way. At present what happens, you know, if somebody against me, unnecessarily, suppose I used to love him, I used to engage him in Hari Bhajan, finally his character, everything fall down. And I become very strict, he like to attack me, then they like to take the advantage. They can call him. You can go mad, I can give you an example. They can give room to him, they can give prasadam. That, you know, chap whom I wanted to deliver, all his pannas, everything all fallen. Now he like to cut my throat. I tell him, you bring the knife, I am standing, you bring your knife. That man getting the full favor of our mat. Every day, in a week, seven, six days, taking prasadam, unnecessarily. Because they are going to give the patronage. Those who are against me, like the case of, you know, that man, who again, I guide him, go there and worship Bhavan. He like to engage them in, you know, hooligan, hooliganism. Is the case. At present, if you are going against your Vaishnav, that they can favor you. They can give you, like, like you know, terrorist. Eh? For different country, you can get ammunition. Ammunition, you know, sale and uh, banduk, everything, they are providing, neighbor countries. Oh, in India, you can go, we can give you a rifle, everything, all, yeah, go, make problem in India. There is a case at present. Nobody interested about Shuddha Harikatha. They are less interested. So anyway, Srila Tithu Gosei Maharaj, was a master, masterpiece, number one tattabhid, atma tattabhid. He never wanted to pass any lecture. We never heard any lecture from him. We never heard any lecture from me, from him. Never. So nice acharan, but still, many people, they used to put some allegation against him. Very sorry. Maharaj. His submission, his submission unto the lotus feet of Srila Bhakti Dvaita Madhav Goswami Maharaj was a miracle. It's a miracle, you cannot believe. His life and soul, everything sold unto the lotus feet of Bhakti Dvaita Madhav Goswami Maharaj. Whatever Gurudev speaking, yes. Whatever Gurudev. Yes. Never say no. Never speak no. All responsibility. All official responsibility means there was two men sevak. There was two men sevak of Sila Bhakti Dato Madhu Goswami. One is Sila Bhakti Bal of Chittu Goswami, was very highly educated. Master degree with legal idea also. He used to manage all paperwork, paperwork, all official paperwork, everything. And the second was Sila Bhakti, you know, our Bhakti Vigyan Bhartu Goswami Maharaj, who was given the extraordinary pressure. Pressure means seva. All construction seva, managing seva, big assembly where to arrange, you know, parikram, big, you know, harikatha. So intelligent. Sila Bharti Maharaj was a masterpiece. At present, in the whole Vaishnava society, we cannot find one peace like Srila Bharti Maharaj and Tithu Goswami Maharaj. Cannot find. So nice. So after Gurudev gone, he took, he took the responsibility of Acharya Sip 
under the guidance of Srila Bhakti Pramod Purigeshi Maharaj. Can you imagine? After Gurudev gone, the Gurudev gone long ago, na? 1976. I think so, if I am not wrong. Huh? 1976 or 78? 79? 79, I forget. Anyway, 79, okay. 79, okay. So, sometime, I remember, sometime the confusion. So, from then onward, he took the whole responsible burden of Acharya Sip. Of this, all, you know, Chaitanya Goryamat branches. He was so tolerant, my Guru Padma used to say, my Guru Padma used to say that Srila Titha Maharaj is the embodiment of Tinadapi Sloka. So humble. Never speak loudly, only at the time of Harikatha is shouting. Nobody interested to get Bhagavan, nobody want Bhagavan. But all other time, very humble. Very humble, very humble, so humble. You can, cannot understand. Suppose, Bhila Bhakti Deva Madhu Goswami is speaking to Krishna Vallabh Brahmachari. His Brahmachari name is Krishna Vallabh Brahmachari. Krishna Vallabh, Prabhu, you can call, uh, call that devotee. He can call from gra ground floor. Prabhu, Maharaj calling you is not. He can call him, but not calling. He is going third floor, going to the gate of the devotee. Very softly, Prabhu, Prabhu, very softly. He opening, Guru Pad Padmo, remember you. Can you go? So humble. And at present, hey, Prabhu, Maharaj is calling you. This can speak. But he is not speaking this way. Very humble. So humble you cannot remember. One or two examples if I speak, then you can remember. One official job he was supposed to do. Bhakti Vita Madhu Goswami told Prabhu, before 12 o'clock you, you can reach the office. It's more practical because there can be a big queue. But one senior devotee speaking to Tito Maharaj, I mean that time Brahmachari, Prabhu, where are you are going? I am going for this office. Are you? Now Prasadam time is over. Now, prasad, almost prasadam time, better half an hour you can wait and take prasadam, then go. Very simple hearted, no? One senior devotee is speaking. So he is going to wait for prasadam. And from Baranda, Bhakti Taita Madhav was watching. Krishna Mahalab, still you are not going? He is sick. He is not speaking that one senior devotee told me to, you are not going? Huh? I am going, I am going. Then without prasadam, running immediately. In Assam, once one thing happened. There well, so many things, one or two selected things I am speaking. In Assam, selected devotee, somebody cooking, somebody, so many things ever. Bhakti Vita Madhu Goswami Maharaj was there. It, most probably, most probably, most probably that place was Sarbho. The temple is controlled by Tilak. Bhakti Vita Madhu Goswami Maharaj. Hello. One, there is no water source. There is no water source. Only one well. In my case also. In Surya Kundo, only water source is one well. Well, you know? Well. All villagers, all villagers from morning time coming and they are with rope, they are going to take water and go. That was the only source. That was also. So there was only, only one source and a well. So, Titu Maharaj going with, with a bucket and rope and going to take water. Same case happened with the, with the, with the wife of Gurudev, and Ramanu Chajya. Jamamba is going to draw water. Some water going to, and in bucket, 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 dash. One lady taking water, he is taking from this side. 
Srila Tithu Goswami Maharaj is stainless character. But he, that lady started shouting. That lady started shouting in such a way as if Tithu Maharaj had done some mistake. Tithu Maharaj is characterless. Started shouting. Tithu Maharaj immediately taking the bucket without speaking anything, coming to the temple. Not speaking. Sugging his head. Lady is barking. Lady barking. But he is without speaking. And Bhakti Vita Madhav Goswami immediately met in the corridor. Krishna Balla, what happened? No, nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing. Bhakti Vita Madhav Goswami could realize the character of the lady is very bad. Follow. Bhakti Vita Madhav not speaking anything. All God, many God brothers. What is to speak all rubbish against Maharaj. But Maharaj never wanted to throw them out of mort, never wanted to make any conspiracy, never wanted to make any politics. Srila Bhakti Valla Tittu Goswami is above politics, above any you know, material conception. So nice figure. He was successful to preach all over India. Even going to foreign country. Because most of the people, they have no idea about Gauranga Mahaprabhu. In foreign country, how many people they have idea? Nothing. Follow. There is one ashram, Maharaj went to America. One ashram, I forget. The ashram, he had to wait for some time because they are making arrangement. That time, one half naked, half naked, almost naked lady, as a lying in the ground, leg is towards Tithu Goswami Maharaj, leg is towards Tithu Maharaj. Maharaj like child, not speaking anything. Many such things happen. Many such things happen. Follow. One half naked lady, without taking permission of Sevak, going to open the door of Tithu Goswami entering the room of Tithu Maharaj. But Tithu Maharaj not shouting. Tithu Maharaj looking like a, like a small boy, child, four year child looking at mother. She is half naked. But Tithu Maharaj looking at her eyes like, like you know, child. In the meantime, Sevak enter and went to, I go out actually. You can come after. Maharaj is not ready. Follow. No reaction. Because he is beyond material limit. No reaction. Somebody insulting, somebody doing this. No reaction. In Russia, in Moscow, Maharaj started preaching Harikatha. One day, the mother of Kamalaksha, one of our, one devotee who took shelter from Guru Maharaj. Took shelter, I cannot say, took diksha. Maybe it is actual diksha, whatever, I don't like to. Because all word, I should be very precise about using any word. Otherwise, somebody can misunderstand. Na? So, his mother never saw, never meet, never saw, never saw, never meet with any sadhu. Never. Suddenly, she took trouble to come here to meet with Bhakti Vala Tritya Goswami. Without asking. They are coming here immediately. I don't know why. He is going to enter the room and looking at Srila Bhakti Vala Tritya Goswami Maharaj and started shedding tears. Kamalaks was speaking. Kamala said, I don't, know the, I don't know the reason for why my mother started crying. Immediately after looking at Tithu Goswami Maharaj, he started, he cannot, started crying. He cannot speak anything, she cannot speak anything. Speechless. Started speaking. Follow. So, many times, Mara told me, Maharaj, you can stay with me in my preaching. Really, I was there, but it was really impossible for me. 
to maintain my material body. Because I am not taking from anything, anybody. There should be pure thing, but I find contamination. Finally, Tithu Kusimaj could realize that Sam Baba feeling problem. Follow. So then Maharaj told, you can take the preparation they are making for me. Sometime Bharati Maharaj, his sevak making something, some extra, they used to give me. Sometime Tithu Kusimaj, Tithu Maharaj, Sila Bhakti you can take my prasadam, whatever. But he is one big Acharya. I am very small man. How I can demand from Sebok? Maharaj speaking like child. But I cannot speak. After Mata, Maharaj Prasadam is there, is something, something residue you can give. I cannot speak. Big problem. So merciful he was. Follow. One day in Chandigarh Mat, my Tusi Mala broken. So I thought I can buy one Tulsi Mala from the temple and go to Sila Tithu Goswami Maharaj and he can hand over to me. I enter the room with one Tulsi Mala. I am paying Dandava to Maharaj. Maharaj, my Tulsi Mala broken. So I have one Tulsi Mala. I wash it with Ganga water. You please hand over this Tulsi Mala to me. I, I can give to you. Maharaj joking with me. Maharaj speaking, I have not taken bath. I have not taken bath. How I can give? I started speaking, Maharaj, you are going to cheat me. You want to cheat me? Eh? Like we are, you are cheating everybody, you like to cheat me. What do you think? Maharaj started laughing. Give, give, give. <laughs> give to me. So nice personality, so nice. Sometimes I have seen, in when Guru Maharaj makes separate mod everything, then also Srila Bhakti Vallathitukha used to come to Mart to take permission for foreign preaching, for anything, any important thing. Maharaj, what to do? We can do this way, asking to Bhak Guru Maharaj. <clears throat> Never taking any step whimsically. Never take any step. Any Siddhanta, he is knowing all Siddhanta, was saying, Maharaj, this is a situation, what you suggest, what I can do? This is called Anugatha. At present, it is one kind of, one kind of idealism, unique idealism. The Anugatha of Sila, Bhaktivala Tithu Goswami Maharaj, the Anugatha submission shown by Bhakti Vedanta Bhaman Goswami Maharaj, all one kind of exam, milestone. At present you cannot find. Milestone. Well, you can find. Very rare. Anyway, I have no time to discuss about him. I like to discuss. You see the picture. You see the picture. So glamorous, you know, attractive. Eh? You see the picture. So you can understand. And I have one picture. Guru Mahaja's uh, seven, uh, uh, 96 years completion. Titama is sitting in the stage, tears rolling down, very thoughtful about the future generation and like to speak something heavy, money from heart. I have the picture of this, you know, this book I wrote near about you know, Ashram Goswami Maharaj. Bhakti Shauda Ashram Goswami Maharaj. You can, you can hand over. You can take. Huh? You can take. And so, this is Bhakti Shauda Ashram Goswami Maharaj. You see the figure. He need not speak Harikatha. He is going to stand in front of you, no? Like king. Like king. Body color, figure. So, like hero. So nice. Such figure. So, they have done so many seva, so many seva, without any compromise. They have done seva, Prabhupada, always. They are dedicated soul. How we can say they are fallen soul? How I can say? Maybe they are not, Rupa not going to foreign country. 
Gorkishar Babaji Maharaj not going to foreign country, Bhakti Mahatma Thakur not going to. That doesn't mean they are not preacher. They are the world class preacher. In whole Brahmanda, Bhakti Mahatma Thakur can preach in front of demigods. Bhakti Mahatma Thakur can preach in front of demigods. Popat can preach in front of demigods. That much power they have. Indra can come and sit down to hear Harikatha and Bhakti Mahatma Thakur. Sila Prabhupada, Bhakti Vita Madhav Goswami, how I can say? How I can say? It's very painful. If I am not going to put some objection, I can fall down. This is Siddhanta, Prabhupada speaking. When, when, when somebody is going to insult a Vaishnava, if I am not going to find solution, I can fall down. If I am Acharya, still I can fall down. I will have to speak. Prabhupada speaking, Siddhanta, I can show you. So up to this point, I am bound to stop here. I wanted to speak so many things about Bhakti Vala Chittu Goswami Maharaj, but time cannot permit. Anyway, so you can remember the first slok, don't forget. And many slok I told in between. Follow. Na ham vishanke sururaj vajrat na stark shulat na jamasya dandyat na gnarko nila sulavitta pastat shanke visam Brahma Kulava Mahanath. And the sloka I started with. What is that sloka? That sloka is very important. What that, what that sloka I started? What that sloka I started? I forget. I can remember. I always speak. You know. You know. Sadayam hidayam yasyo Bachaha satta bhushitam Kayaha parahitam yasu kalihi tasya karo tikim. Bancha kalpatula shikhi pasindu bhavaj. Patitanang pavanam bhavaishna bhyo namo. We are going to pray unto the lotus feet of Sri Ramchandra. We are going to pray unto the lotus feet of Bhakti Shauda Ashram Maharaj. We are going to pray kipa from Sri La Bhakti Vala Tithukashi Maharaj because he is not my god brother. He is not my god brother. He is my guru. One day I told in Krishnagar Math, during Julan Purnima, someday I went, Tithu Maharaj was there. I entered his room, Maharaj speaking, you like to go with me to America for preaching? I told Maharaj, I am, not, I, I am a fallen soul, I cannot go. You are guru, you can go. Maharaj speaking, you can go with me to foreign America for preaching. I told Maharaj, I am a fallen soul, I am very weak. I cannot go to, you are guru, you can go. Ma, I am not your guru, I am a god brother. No, no, you are my guru. You are not my god brother. Maharaj told, I am your god brother. Come on, I am in god brother. No, you are my guru. I know you. <laughs> anyway, we can announce our special Chaitanya Bhagavad discourse. We can announce someday. Because marathon harikatha, you cannot digest. You can feel, then operat will be there.